Hi or hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is David or Dave once again, your tech savvy host and I'm back with another interesting video tutorial for all of you geeks, nerds, tech uh, enthusiasts out there on the world wide web or elsewhere. And this video tutorial will focus on basically how you can drive your extracted hard drive spindle motors using your RC ESC controller and your appropriate uh, servo tester as well. The spindle motors that you see on the right side of your screen that are placed on the A4 white uh, piece of paper, so the ones of course naturally over here, these are basically just some that I have decided to show them to you and explain a little bit about them because I have extracted over the course of many years a lot of these hard drive spindle motors from various uh, 3.5 inch hard drives, I think mostly they were working ones, um, to be even more specific, the majority of the latter were, I think, SCSI type hard drives, some perhaps were IDE, and in terms of capacity, so if they were SCSI, they were either, I think, 18 or 36 gigabyte ones, uh, and in regards to the IDE ones, probably 10, perhaps 20 gigabytes, my max. Now enough on the motors, in order to drive the ladder of course you need some sort of a regulating circuitry besides a appropriate necessary input power source. So here I have a RC ESC controller, that is a remote control electronic speed controller. This one I think is from Simon K, it's a 20 amp uh, controller and here I have a 3 channel. I think it is 4.8 to 6 volt uh, ESC CCPM servo tester as well. So you need these two things in order to drive your uh, spindle motor of your choice. Of course, besides the appropriate LiPo battery pack or a suitable power source. Uh, the links to both of these are in the description part of the video, so don't fear. However, for the sake of uh, honesty, uh, consistency, uh, this video tutorial itself will not cover how we do this from start to finish. So basically this will be a two-part video. Uh, so in the current video tutorial, part one, we will only cover how do you find the so-called common wire using your digital multimeter on the extracted hard drive spindle motor of your choice. So we only will be covering dissecting that topic. So we won't be needing the uh, ESC controller and the tester in this part of the video. That will come on in the second part. So the only tools as such that you will need uh, will be of course a suitable digital multimeter. I'm using my uh, Voltcraft VC404. You can also use one of those generic cheap ones that you can get on eBay. I'll probably add a couple of uh, links to those as well in the description part of the video. The second tool that is also good to have is some sort of a marker. I'm using this one uh, over here, this blue alcohol marker, in order to permanently mark uh, the common wire or the soldering point that indicates that this is uh, the so-called common wire if you want to permanently make a mark on your uh, spindle motor but you know this is optional i do have to apologize for the tone or the hissing sound that you hear in the background of this video tutorial i'm running two aussie kalanen circuits uh, in parallel on two batteries and i'm trying to uh, recondition or just generally revitalize so i do apologize for that now we'll have a much more closer look on the motors that I have placed on this paper and we'll start with this one here at the top. Hard drive motors uh, usually come with uh, four contact leads or four uh, soldering, you could say uh, joints or um, oh, you also here have a gold plated surface as well and of course the connector. Uh, they come usually with uh, four of these uh, contact points, but also here I have two 
that I'll show them to you as well that only have three. But for now, let's stick with the number four. Uh, hard drive spindle motors are also called uh, brushless motors, uh, servos or servo motors, and also BLDC uh, type of motors as well. So there are lots of names for these uh, gadgets. Now, even though, as it says over here, that this winding diagram is for a um, CD-ROM motor, in actuality it's basically no different from how a hard drive spindle motor is wounded. Instead of probably, instead of having nine of these, uh, you could say, uh, columns on the stator part going all around, you would probably have something like 12. But other than that, it's the same deal. So you would have three different wires going into the stator part and being wounded in a specific manner and then the ends would be uh, soldered together. Now this would be the so-called uh, common wire. This is the one that we need to find uh, on our hard drive spindle motor. And in order to do this we need to check uh, the resistance between each contact point on the motor to find out where are the differences and then through the process of elimination we find out which one is the common wire. So that's it. And when we would establish where the common wire or the common contact point is we would uh, disregard it and then we would connect the three wires coming from our electronic speed controller onto the remaining contact points on the actual motor. So now we will put all that theory into the necessary practice. And the digital multimeter is turned on and I have set it in the ohm measuring range. To be precise, the 200 scale. So let's start in the right side and we'll measure the resistance between these two contact points to see what is the value. So about 2 or 2.2 .2 ohms. Okay, let's move on to the next section. You could say the middle two contact points. Three point three ohms, okay. So let's go to the next one, to the last pair. Three point also three point three. So what we can establish from this uh, part of the experiment that this contact point over here, this one is the common because it has the lowest resistance between this point and this one over here. So this is the common. I have marked it with an X and also there's a small C over there, but you can mark your common wire or contact point in any way you wish. So that's it. So over here you would connect then those three wires coming from your electronic speed controller. It doesn't matter how you connect them. Um, uh, because um, the connection as such only determines the rotation in terms of clockwise or counterclockwise. But we'll talk about that more in part two. And now we will again repeat the procedure on the second motor. So this one over here. A little much more up close view. So again, let's start over here. Two point five ohms, let's say. Okay, let's move to the next section. Uh huh. So this one is again higher. Four ohms, let's say. And over here, also about 4 ohms. So again, through the process of elimination, we can determine that this is the common, uh, the common contact point. Because the resistance between these two points is the lowest, and then through comparison, all of the rest, this one has uh, the highest, I mean the lowest resistance. We can also try it in this way. So still, this is another proof that this is the common.
the last motor on our list that we need to test in order to make the experiment a nice uh, solid number three is this one over here but as I will show you much more up close this one looks a bit more different the wires that come out or stick out from the stator these three well you know they look normal however this one is much more intriguing uh, to me this is a good indication that this contact point in this wire over here this might be uh, the common one but we'll see that when we'll actually uh, test it with the multimeter now this time instead of starting at the right we're going to start from the left side so we're going to measure these two contacts come on so 4 ohms, 4.1 alright let's go towards the middle again about 4 ohms so let's start or end up over here so again I was right 2.4, 2.5 3 ohms again let's try this uh -huh. and let's try this position so I was right. This contact point or gold plated surface and also again this wire over here is the common. Again I was right my suspicions. Before I conclude this video tutorial we're just going to touch on a few things. On the basis of the three conducted experiments when we were trying to determine where uh, the common contact point or the common wire is located on the hard drive spindle motor or these three servo BLDC type of motors, we can see that there is a pattern emerging over here, at least for these type of motors. Uh, apparently the contact point is always located on the right side of the motor. I mean, uh, you could just basically say also on the left side, but you know, it's never like um, somewhere in the middle. So instead of using, you could say, the scientific approach, uh, using your digital multimeter to determine where is the common uh, contact point, you could just simply try, you know, sort of the guessing game. You could, uh, like for instance, solder your three wires coming from your electronic speed controller to either side. Uh, the three contact points on your hard drive motor and try if it works in that manner and if it doesn't well then you would switch those three wires over here for instance and try it in that manner now this motor over here uh, this one is pretty much the same one as the rest of the three it still has four contacts just as uh, this one is a bit different in design but I wanted to point out that um, this motor, as you can see, it was actually um, the base. I mean, the stator part was uh, in the aluminum body or the case of the entire hard drive as such. So this was much more interesting to extract. Maybe if I'll get a chance to acquire an exactly same type of uh, hard drive where the base is fixated on the aluminum enclosure I'll maybe make a video on that how you can properly extract uh, the spindle motor from that type of hard drive but nevertheless it's still the same type of uh, motor as the rest of the three so now we're going to look at uh, the remaining two so this one doesn't have four contacts but it has three so here you don't have to determine that common wire here you could probably just directly attach your electronic speed controller and power it up in that manner no need for uh, fiddling around with your digital multimeter this motor is also the same one uh, as the one over here or this one meaning that it has three wires and uh, 
base or the stator part was also embedded into the overall aluminum enclosure on the hard drive. And as you can see these wires are really really small and tiny and thin so if you want to connect uh, an electronic speed controller onto this you should find a way to secure these wires so they don't break. But still, you know, interesting. Conclusion, this is therefore the end of part one, or you could say also series on how you can power on or drive your hard drive spindle motor, also known as a brushless uh, servo or BLDC type of motor using an appropriate electronic speed controller and with an additional CCPM servo tester and let's not forget using uh, a good power source, something like a lipo battery stack or similar however this will be covered much more in detail also visually and comment wise in part two but in part one uh, this current video we have only covered uh, we have brushed up a little bit on the wiring diagrams how these motors are wired uh, connected uh, assembled as such and we have most importantly uh, learned how to find that common wire using your digital multimeter even though of course you can always try the so-called guessing game as well. If you found the video tutorial uh, neatly covered, it was well detailed, leave your uh, feedback in the comment section below, hit the like button, share the video, subscribe and during that time you can also watch my other videos. But until then, we'll see you in part 2. This is David, goodbye.